Let's talk about chronic fatigue, achiness, and stiffness. Many times this is coming from what's called a mycoplasma. Now, what is a mycoplasma? It's a very, very small microbe, probably one of the smallest known microbes. Um, nanobacteria might be a little bit smaller, but they're both in the same family. You see these microorganisms involved with secondary infections. You see them with Lyme, even HIV. They don't have a cell wall, so they're very stealth. Your immune system has a very difficult time finding them, and antibiotics may not work. Uh, they may help initially, but then this mycoplasma keeps coming back. And it's highly associated with rheumatoid arthritis, and it can even trigger various autoimmune diseases. It's definitely connected with symptoms, the Gulf War syndrome, fibromyalgia, and I already mentioned Lyme. Is there anything you can do naturally? Because the problem medically is that the treatment usually destroys your own immune system, and then that weakens your ability to fight this microbe. You definitely have to go low carb. Why? Because mycoplasmas live on glucose and other carbohydrates. So it's very, very important to go keto. Fasting is essential because it will help strengthen the immune system, especially if you do periodic prolonged fasting. So let's say, for example, you did 48 hours every two weeks or every month or even 72 hours. That would be very beneficial as well as fasting's ability to trigger autophagy, which will help uh, clean up and kill microorganisms in the body and recycle them. The herbs that are recommended, and they're natural antibiotics with v very minimal, if any, side effects. Banlan Gen, Angelica Root, Hangbei, and Garlic. Now, these will have a tendency to potentially detoxify you, unless you also consume bile salts before you start this. So I would do bile salts for the first day, just do two per day on an empty stomach, spread out, like do one in the morning, one at night. What this will do, it'll open up the flow through the liver, allow drainage. It's something you'd always wanna do before a detox, then you start adding these in there. And then also continue to take this along the way because sometimes when you start killing off microbes, you release uh, endotoxins. And endotoxins have the capacity to shut down your bile flow. And then you get this backup of toxins to the blood and you can actually get all sorts of detox reactions. So uh, bile salts help to reduce uh, the side effects from detoxification. Okay, so number four, zinc, at least 100 milligrams per day. This is going to strengthen your immune system. And vitamin D3, 30,000 IUs per day. That's going to reduce inflammation. What's going to happen after about a week is your energy is going to start to come up. You're going to feel less achy, less stiff, more joint mobility, and realize that you may need to do this protocol for several months to really stabilize your health. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely, you have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.